Welcome to iLecture Online. Now let's take a look at our next connection, the fixed post connection. So simply have a post fixed in the ground or fixed in a concrete barrier or something like that. So it can move in any direction. First of all, we have a force pushing back from the bottom, upholding the weight. So the first we have a force in the y direction. But since the post cannot move laterally in the x direction or in the z direction, we have two additional forces there. So there's a triad of forces one in the x direction and one in the z direction but then we have some additional constraints the post cannot rotate in the y direction that creates a moment in the y direction so you can actually apply a force and the post will resist that force so we have a moment so you put your thumb in this direction you see your fingers curling that way so there's a moment like this in the y direction since the post cannot rotate in this direction right there there's a moment created about the z-axis so again you have a moment going like this the best way to find direction of the moment is point your, your thumb in the direction of the uh, in the z-axis and your fingers will curl in the direction of the moment so like this this is the moment in the z-direction and since the post cannot pivot back and forth in this direction it creates a moment about the x-axis as well again point your fingers in the direction of the x-axis your thumb in the direction of the x-axis, your fingers will curl in the direction of the moment. So here we have a moment in the x-direction. So a fixed post like this creates a triad of forces in the x, the y, and the z-direction, and it creates a triad of moments in the x, the y, and the z-direction as well. Because a fixed post like that cannot rotate in any direction and it cannot, cannot move in any direction, which allows forces to exist in all three directions and moments to exist in all three directions.